So one of the big changes in Betaflight 4.4 was the anti-gravity code, uh, which was pretty good already in Betaflight 4.3. So we're gonna take a look at it today. We're gonna compare 4.3 versus 4.4 default anti-gravity and uh, tune it a little bit, you know, bump up the anti-gravity gain and see what differences we notice between the two. Got my quad here, got it set up to log some uh, special anti-gravity debug mode that's in 4.4. Uh, so we'll take a look at that uh, maybe back on the desk. But for now, let's just uh, light this up. It's snowed actually, oddly enough. So it's a little cold outside right now. So we're gonna do a little car action here. Let's see what we get. As you can see in 4.3, it ain't too bad. Now this is my preset on it. A little horizon. That's not too bad at all. A little bit of bobble. Not much at all though, huh? Frame rate on this DJI is... So there's a little bit of bobble, very little bit. So let's see, I don't know if 4.4 is gonna make that any better. I mean, that is very little and that is kind of I don't want to say it's tuned, but it ain't default. It's default anti-gravity, but the, the tune is not default. You know, it has it's basically my five-inch preset. Yeah. Very slight. So anyways, that's that's kind of what we're getting for default anti-gravity and just with a simple preset. All right, so let's check this out. Seems all right. And it doesn't look any better. Yeah, I don't know. power mode. Eh, it looks about the same to me. Uh, even, <laughs> dar dare to say even a little worse. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it seems worse. So I might need to just push up the gain a little bit more on it. Boy, the DJI has a lot of latency when it's in low power mode. Let's see if taking the gain up higher makes a difference. We're going to take a look at that. Let's go to 15. Well, I can do stupid shit so you don't have to, right? Is that what, is that what we're going to call this? Engines are... And what you think we want to, you want to do is like pump the throttle a little bit. Uh, just flow to the ground to see if it's going to fly away on you. You can usually hear if it's doing something weird, that's why I cracked the door there. Through the upright, baby. So what did you think? I was initially disappointed when I compared the default of Betaflight 4.3 versus the default of Betaflight 4.4. I think eight is a conservative value, a little bit more conservative than what was in Betaflight 4.3. I was surprised at how high I could go. Uh, 15 seemed to work pretty well. So when boosting up your anti-gravity, there's a couple things you're looking at. You're looking at those throttle pumps to see if you're getting that nose bobble like that. And that's a P-gain thing. To get rid of that bobbling, 
Well, it's actually a combination of the two, but there's a lot of factor involved in that is in P game. The next factor is when you do a full throttle punch out and you drop the throttle, does the quad do one of these? I think you probably are all familiar with what I'm talking about, where it kind of goes vroom, vroom, like a slow bobble. That's definitely eye gain dependent specifically. That part where it is bobbling around, that is the eye gain adjusting. So with anti-gravity, we want that to happen faster. So that eye gain goes, Phew, and you don't really, you know, it happen, it adjusts so quick that you eventually just don't even really see it, that it's adjusting that eye gain so fast. And it, the eye gain adjusts faster when you boost it more. Also, if you have a higher P gain boost, you just don't have error to begin with, so that eye gain windup won't occur that you have that kind of that bobble with. So we definitely we want to be boosting up the P gain some more, but those are the two things you're going to want to really look at is, is it, do I have a bobble from fast throttle inputs, or is it when I'm full throttling and chopping it, does it go woo woo, like a big, like a big, uh, you know, kind of like a big bobble. If it's a big bobble, you definitely want to be boosting up anti-gravity altogether basically the anti-gravity that you see in the uh, graphical user interface there. But if you're still kind of having these little bitty bobbles uh, from doing throttle pumps or chops, then I would recommend going into the CLI and boosting up that P-gain boost, like I said, either to 125 or 150 or 200 or something of that nature. You have to play with it and increment it up slowly. So what do you think? Drop your comments down below. And don't be afraid to push that anti-gravity gain up. And if you really want to be a pro and have a full understanding of anti-gravity and be a pro tuner, check out the links below. I have a Patreon video releasing right now where we go into even more depth on anti-gravity and some of this hidden CLI commands that you want to tweak and adjust and talk about where to tweak those and how to tweak those and adjust it and look at some more examples of how when you know you've gone too far on anti-gravity and what that kind of looks like and just kind of the extent and the range of some of the gains that you might be wanting to put into your anti-gravity settings in Betaflight 4.4. That will do it for now. Thanks everybody, and I hope this helped.